Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a TFTP server to save the configuration files of your Cisco IOS and your whatever router or switch you're using. So I've gone out and downloaded SolarWinds TFTP server. There's others available. This one works okay. Let's see. So when you download it, start the server. There's a few things you can set up. If you like, in general, I've created a directory to keep my configurations in. Just under my C drive. So I've got my configurations in here from a previous activity. Delete those. This is where I will keep configurations. Use a custom binding or not. I'm just going to bind the 1.2. That's the static IP I've placed on my Ethernet port, and it's plugged in directly to the Ethernet port in my 2500 router. And when you're playing around with this, it's good to know the IP address of your interfaces. If you don't know, you can plug in a console cable and use show run see how your router is set up. And I've got TerraTerm installed. Here's the host IP on my router 192.168.1.1 I'm going to telnet into it. If I'm using my COM port I can do that too. And select COM3. That's my console. It's also plugged in in this case. Let's tell them into it. Put in your password. Enable. Put in your secret password. Class in this case. This is what you find in a lot of the labs. Alright. So on your router, or consoled into it. Now there's a few things you have to do in Windows to get it to work with the TFTP. Uh, first you have to enable TFTP in Windows features. Turn Windows features on and off. In this case, if you want to use your regular command line with Telnet, you have to turn that on and you have to turn on TFTP client, otherwise Windows blocks that service. Uh, you probably have to turn off your Windows firewall unless you want to fool around with configurations. So you need UDP port 69. that was the biggest problem I had so when you get into your router you can type in copy you want the source so if you're copying what's on your router flash you type that in first you're copying to the TFTP server source file name and go show flash it's good to check that out. Here's the name. Right click, it will copy it. Anyway, copy flash TFTP. Right click, that will copy it. 
add our surname of remote host. That's this machine. 168. Dot. Ah. Keep bumping the wrong thing. Source file name. destination file name, that's fine. We'll create the file on your C drive where you told it to. This takes quite a while, so I'm going to pause. So this is what it will tell you when it's successfully copied. It'll tell you the size of the file and the time it took. And if you want to save your configuration file, we'll copy running config tftp remote host is 196.192.168.1.2 again and it will use the default file name which is fine in this case it doesn't do much except it's a very tiny file, so that goes quickly. Now I've saved my configuration file and my binary file for the iOS. Now I can copy those back. You just type in copy source tftp to destination flash. And that way if you're using a shared router in a lab, for example, you just copy your configuration over and use that instead of having to recreate it. And up here I have a log file, which is nice. And that's the end of this demonstration.